Each year, the best galleries and museums in America score online images in 50 categories to decide the best painters, sculptors, photographers, and digital artists in the world. In 2018, artists from 59 countries competed. Hey there, I'm Tom Beards, president of the American Art Awards, also a painter. I love art and I'm so excited because I get to bring you the best art in the world. Category 48, digital art, non-representational. You don't know what it is. We got something bird-like, sanctuary-like, some abstract pieces, modular, a multiverse, which is very, very cool. All right, winners this year from USA, Australia, India, and UK. American Marcy McNeil takes first place with Peak. This small freehand Photoshop piece belongs in a museum or maybe Las Vegas. Diana Wiley from Australia takes second place with Sanctuary. The American Art Awards voting galleries consistently respond favorably to Wiley's magical fantasy scapes. Taking third place from USA, Kathleen V. Miles for Dream Number Three digital media printed on archival paper. I could easily see this at the entrance of a contemporary museum. American John Hansen ties for fourth place with Cooperative Sunrise. This attractive piece defined non-representationalism, that is, if non-representationalism can be defined. American Bruce Rolf also ties for fourth place with Multiverse. Nothing short of brilliant in execution, concept, and composition. American Alan Stecker ties for fifth place with Splash. Stecker is an abstract genius and regularly does very well in the American Art Awards. India's Viral Padaya ties for fifth place with the Nexus series. Hypnotic, electric, what an energizing juxtaposition. Tying for 6th place from the UK, Paul Anslow for Group Mind. Anslow is definitely an artist worth collecting and to follow. Also tying for 6th place, John Hansen from USA for Brown Molek, a triumphant, heady piece that can mean everything or maybe nothing. Each year, the best galleries and museums in America score online images in 50 categories to decide the best painters, sculptors, photographers, and digital artists in the world. The voting galleries and museums do not get paid. They want to support new artists and often discover new talent. This is of great benefit to our artists. They enter for only $25 a submission and it goes to our administrative costs.